Hello, Dan Harvey for Boris FX here with a guide to using the Beauty Studio tool in Boris Continuum Complete 10 for Avid Media Composer. Beauty Studio is designed primarily to smooth flesh tones on close-ups of talent. I'm going to try it out on this clip provided by our friends at Pond5, a leading supplier of royalty-free stock footage. I'll begin by opening my effects palette, selecting the BCC10 Image Restoration Group, and dragging the Beauty Studio tool to the clip in my sequence. Now Beauty Studio is applied with its default settings, including a Pixel Chooser Matte Key setting for a typical European flesh tone. Now I'll sample the actual flesh tone highlights and shadows from my clip, and fine tune the Hue and Luma softness values. I'll set Pixel Chooser to display chosen pixels in order to show the matte. Softness affects the number of grayscale levels in the matte. Lower softness values will result in a hard edge matte with fewer grayscale levels. I plan to use this matte to hold back another effect, so I'll select Save from Pixel Chooser preset options in order to save it to my desktop. Now I'd like to apply a garbage matte to hold back the hands and neck, so I'll launch Mocha to add a shape. I'll enable the Create Bezier tool and plot my shape. I'm creating the shape at the end of the clip because this is where my region of interest is zoomed in. Tracking backwards from here will make more detail visible to the tracker, resulting in a better quality track. Now I'd like to protect the mouth area from the effect, so I'll create another bezier shape and track it. I'll display the face mat in view options, select the mouth mat in the layer controls, and change its blend mode to subtract in order to cut a hole in the face mat. I plan to use this Mocha project to hold back another effect, so I'll select Export Project and save it to my desktop. Now I'll hit the Save Project button. Now I'll exit Mocha and adjust the overall feather settings on my shapes in order to soften their edges. Now I'm satisfied with my holdout area, I'll fine tune the Beauty Studio settings. Master Amount sets the overall effect intensity. Depending on the number of detail levels I select from this drop down, I can independently adjust the amount of smoothing applied to small details, such as pores in the skin ranging to large details such as broad wrinkles. Preserve Contrast restores the underlying picture detail for prominent features. Mix with Original controls the overall transparency of the effect. I'll take a look at before and after the effect is applied by toggling Bypass. At this point we could consider the job done, but I'd like to discuss a further refinement. When there's noise or grain present elsewhere in the picture, the absence of noise in the smoothed area can sometimes give the game away. Selectively adding or matching the noise in the smoothed area can help with this. So I'll return to the effects palette, select the film style group and add the match grain tool above the beauty studio tool by holding the alt key and dragging it to the clip in my sequence. Now the match grain is added to the effects list and applied with its default settings. It's important to ensure that the clip is displayed at full detail in Avid's video quality settings, otherwise the grain will not be sampled correctly. I'd like to hold the match grain back with the same mat I used for Beauty Studio, so I'll load the mat I saved to my desktop from the Pixel Chooser preset options. To load the mocha shapes I saved earlier, I'll launch mocha, Select Merge Project, load the Mocha project from the desktop, save and exit. Once again I'll adjust the feathering as required. I'll set Pixel Chooser to display chosen pixels to show the mat. Now Match Grain is applied to the selected area in the Pixel Chooser. I want to match the grain or noise from a flat shaded area in the picture. The low contrast noise on the background won't be obvious in this clip as a result of the compression used for streaming. So I placed a patch of obvious noise in this corner to illustrate how noise and grain are sampled in the match grain tool. 
I can select which video layer I match the noise from here. I'll leave it on filter layer, which selects the current layer. Now I'll move the sample center. I can do this from the effect controls or with the on-screen widget. When I place the sample center over the noisy area, the noise is sampled and applied selectively inside the pixel chooser. Now I'll adjust the grain size and overall transparency of the match grain effect. Taking these additional steps can help to blend the Beauty Studio effect into your composition more transparently. To find more great post-production and plug-in tutorials, please visit borisfx.com.